Hey there, Hunky Vape fans. Welcome to the first Hunky Vape vlog. On today's vlog, your host, DJ Alex, is eagerly waiting some Hunky Vape mail. So why am I so eager? Because I ordered my first Stab Wood mod. And you're never going to guess who made this Stab Wood mod. Let me show you. Smock. You believe it? I don't know. I'll find out when it gets here if it's really stab wood, but look at that. That is going to be beautiful. I don't know. I'm guessing, I'm guessing they're trying to compete with Geek Vape and their uh, ages. And if you see on here, TFV9 tank. Now we've had the TFV4, the TFV8, the TFV12, the TFV16. I know, they keep beating the dead horse, but my first device that I had, the Wake Modco, had the Baby Beast compatible coils. And the flavor was pretty good, so if this is a new technological development from them, natural transition, TFV8, TFV9, kind of makes sense. So, I guess we'll find out when it actually gets here. But take a look at this. That is going to be a beautiful mod. Has all your standard components in it. Looks like they have one here. In an alligator leather, maybe? I don't know. Has all the standard components in it. They're totting their new chip. Has temperature control. Stainless steel. Nickel, titanium, 230 watts. I don't know if it actually has 230 watts output capacity, but I never use that high anyway. I don't know anybody that actually does. So, while I'm waiting for vape mail, I'm going to take you on a little adventure and show you something else. Something I do just to pass the time. All right, check this out. Now. While waiting for vape mail, DJ Alex will be permanently scarred after being robbed. Let's get out of here. Falls off a cliff. Oh! Is involved in a head-on collision. Oh! Witnesses cannibalism. Oh God. Avoid smallpox. He gets into a bar fight to stop a big guy from meeting the bartender. And much, much more. All before the post office arrives with his vape mail. You guessed it, Hunky Vape fans. I'm going to show you a Rockstar game. It's called Red Dead Redemption 2. Just a little something I do whenever I go to pass time. So let's check her out. Now, if you've never played a modern day video game, let me tell you, they've come a long way from Pac-Man. Days of video games back in the 80s. Throwing those quarters non-stop into the machine. Well, at least until you ran out of them. The modern computer video game has come a long way. Especially this game. And it's no longer one of those ones where you're trapped into a specific routine. Or a specific sequence of actions you have to perform or you fail. The modern day video game includes an open world... That lets you go just about anywhere. And the graphics, they make you feel like you're part of a movie. Like you're actually controlling what happens in the movie. So, let me show you the map. Here's where we have our camp set up. And if you zoom out, you'll see that this map is enormous ginormous huge and as the game progresses on it opens up more and more of the map this section here we're only in chapter two of the game out of six chapters and you only see half the map the other half of the map will be opened up as we continue to play the game but at any point in time you don't want to do another mission 
You can simply roam around and take part in the activities. There's all kinds of things to do. There's hunting, there's fishing, or you can just go around and rob people if that's what you really get into. Or you can just go exploring. There's mysteries in this. So, I'm going to take you on a little adventure. I'm going to show you what Red Dead Redemption 2 is all about. And, if this isn't your cup of tea and you're not really looking for this, you just want to see the device I'm getting for vape mail and the rest of the, the contents of my package, my orders, I'm going to put a card right there in the description. So, you can click on that and jump forward if you'd like. Otherwise, let's get started. Oh no, looks like there's a storm brewing in. You know what? I think it's time to go fishing. What better thing to do when it's raining than to do a little fishing? Let's hope we got some fish that aren't too smart and think that the raindrops are actually food being dropped on this water surface. Let's see if we can catch anything. So I got a question for you, Hunky Vape fans. I'm uh, trying to figure out what the next content should be and whether you guys like what I've put up so far. Should I focus more on advocacy? Yes, I think yes. Or should I focus more on the help aspect of things? Maybe do some uh, builds. Or would you like to see me make some coils? It's all on what you guys want to watch. Yeah, I got a large moth bass. Pretty cool. You know what else is cool? Check this out. I was going to uh, play the entire part of the... Uh, game for you that I had originally recorded. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. However, I know your time is precious. So I'm just going to take you through one mission and then we're going to jump right to the vape mail. What do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Grow up, more like Don't learn how to shoot. Play with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Behind the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Trains do through. We all have at least right. one friend that's like it's that. On. Charles, I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. 
They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. Oi disappeared. Tell me that doesn't look a little fishy. Just the action. You got an oil wagon going down the road. People hanging off the sides. And four horses running behind it. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's obsessive. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. They're left here, towards Rose. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah. Takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say, Not the dog, no, please. Not this oh. again. <laughs> Fine. Damn you, tree. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make charitable sure donations. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. And shoot your mouth and get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Mr. Marsh? Mr. Smith? No animals Mr. were harmed in the filming of this episode. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. You can literally I feel like the it. controller vibrating. Now that takes some balls there. Train coming around the blind corner. And you have some real good faith that that thing is going to be able to stop when it sees you. If it sees you. If the conductor is not taking a smoke break. Hear the whistle? He saw him. And he was miraculously able to stop. Now let's go get him. What's going on here? What's going on? Nothing good. I need to get up there. Finish up here and join us on board. Faster. All right. Get on that train. All yours, Captain. Go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and go to and get shot. Go. Everything you got. Money. Valuable. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. Baby, what you got, mister? You won't get hurt. Charitable donation. I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? C'est de la folie. Now, when you are doing a mission, there are things that you're required to do. It wasn't my choice to beat him. But if I wouldn't have beat him, it wouldn't have progressed any further. I want to count to three. God damn it. Sick as bad as dead lady. Thank you. Thank you. My patience. Let's just do what he says. So this can be Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. Now, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Right, Jack. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why that? Why not? Quick! That's gotta hurt. Everything you got. Money. Valuable. Give me all your money. Quick. You won't get a damn 
I will not ask so Let me hand you over to my friend then. You're getting robbed, oh, mister. Give me everything you got. That little red ding that you saw there was your honor. There's an honor system. If you do good, you get credit for it. If you do bad, you lose your reputation. I can handle this from here. I should check on Sean. Okay. Class warfare. What is it? You alright? Build the baggage car. Take from the rich. Christ's sake. You ain't even Let the average the Joe go. Here we go. Probably something in here, Arthur. Oh man. Nice thing about this game is, even if you really have never played a game before, the difficulty on it is not so bad as preventing you from actually enjoying it and having a good time. So we gotta go around the baggage car, try and gather up all the valuables, look in the cupboards. Oh, look at that. I know. Ring. Gold pocket watch. What else we got? Oh, let's look at that. Oh. Let's see what's in this chest. It just doesn't want to let me open it. Oh, my goodness. Probably because he's dead and laying up against it. Look at that jewelry. Platinum pocket watch. Nice. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Schmidt, get ready. You may come off the train now, do you hear? No, we we're not coming off of the train. Now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn eh? There's a few more to Uh-oh. Okay. Let's deal with them. We won't stare. Look out on the left. Here come the friends. We got more coming from the trees there. You know, if you shoot the lantern, you lose honor because the horse dies too. Looks like somebody already shot him. Come on, horse. Let's get out of here. We're going to have a posse on our butts here pretty soon. Uh-oh. Looks like we're riding right at him. Come on. Let's go. Come on, people. Got to look out for each other. Easy there, girl. 
Good thing we didn't fall off that cliff. Where are they? Where are they? Let's get out of here. Ooh. Let's keep going. Lost my hat. So that was just one of the missions. Oh, I fell off my horse again. Ran into a signpost. So that was just one of the missions in Red Dead Redemption 2. There are literally hundreds of missions and hundreds of hours of activities that are already planned in here, let alone all the hours you could spend free reign, free roaming around the map. We still need a real big take. Enough so, to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Let's split up and get out of here. All right, so let's get on to the vape mail. Come on. Look at you. Fishing, that's some. Oh, my God, did you see that lightning? I'm glad they didn't strike me or my horse. That would have been really bad. That was pretty cool because in this game, Christmas time. They actually had it snow throughout the whole map. Some people say it was a glitch. I kind of think Rockstar did it on purpose. I don't know. What do you think? Put it in the comments below and let me know. We got ourselves another fish. Unbelievable. Good to meet you.
Wouldn't it be nice if fishing in real life was this productive? But, you know what? There is the serenity of fishing. Even if you're not catching anything. A bad day of fishing is always going to be better than a good day at work. Wait a minute, was that the doorbell? Excuse me, I'm gonna go check and see if I actually got my vape mail. I got my vape mail. I guess it's finally time to get the other camera set up. I know people don't like jump cuts, but that's what I got to do. So, hang on a second. We're going to flip it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you something before I uh, open these boxes up. I understand that, you know, packages that potentially could contain tobacco products or potentially could contain nicotine need an adult signature. Understandable. We don't want this stuff getting in the kids' hands. However, I think California has lost its mind. Let me show you the warning label that came on my package. You just won't believe it until you see it for yourself. Let me zoom right in here. Like I said, this, I can understand. Okay? I don't consider it a tobacco product, but whatever. It could be used by somebody who puts nicotine in their vape. This, however, is ridiculous. How do they know what is going to be going inside this vape? Seriously. Yeah, that product may be known by the state of California if it causes cancer or birth defects. But what about cigarettes? Cigarettes definitely causes cancer. Reproductive harm. Anyway, let's get these packages opened up and see what we got. I'm excited for this mod. When I first saw it, I was like, you know what? If Smock is going to make a stab wood mod, I want to be one of the first ones to buy it. They've been moving up in their game. My favorite device. 
you saw my introductory video? The Smock Mag P3. And as you can see on the screen, it broke. We went out to see Punxsutawney Phil, and I put my mod on a fence post because I was trying to take a picture with the family. So there we have it. The Smock Scar 18. All right. Let's get this package open up and see what's in there. Stab wood. I've always wanted a stab wood mod. And for it to be IP67 rated, that's just amazing. There you go. Wait a minute. That is not stab wood. Unbelievable. This is not stabilized wood or stabilizing wood like the website said it was going to be. This is some kind of imitation leather. But on first looks, I think they're trying to compete against the Geek Vape Ages. So let's compare the two. See what they're like. Take a look and compare this to the Aegis. Looks to be about the same size. Same basic layout. Yeah, they're not going for high end here. What they're going for is direct competition the Aegis or the Aegeus, depending on how you pronounce it. Let's throw a set of batteries in. At least they got a mark pretty good. Yep, they got the same issue as the G. That is a tight fit for your batteries. And we take the wattage goes all the way up to 230 and it does not round robin so side by side
Take a look at the tank. The new TFV-9. And there's the coil. That is a lot of cotton. There should be no problems wicking on this thing. What's this thing rated for? Okay. But your typical smock look. No question about it. Side by side. You can see exactly who they're trying to compete against. You're going to need to get the drip tips that have the O-rings in them. They are out there. Take a look at the unique opening. It's supposed to be childproof. Lift up on it. Spin it out. Pretty cool. Only one way to find out what this is good. Got a little problem here. The coil that came with the tank is a dud. Now I understand why there's so many people out there on the forums complaining about smock products. No atomizer is what it detects. So let's take a look at it, see if we can fix it, and hopefully the spare coil they put into the box is a good one. So, what we got here? Nice, generous cotton. You see that? There's the positive lead. So, if it's not the positive lead, it's going to have to be the negative lead. Yeah, that certainly isn't the correct reading. Must be 0.15. So, the reason it's saying no atomizer is because it's out of spec. Way out of spec. So I'm going to swap the other coil in. See if we can give this tank a try. All right, so I got that coil all juiced up. It's sitting there, setting itself up. I figured while that's sitting there soaking up my wonderful juice, I'd open up some more vape mail. Everybody loves getting vape mail. And I did some clearance shopping 
If you watched my uh, Five Minute Friday, you saw there were a bunch of places that were having clearance sales. So, I checked out a new place. Let's see what all we got. myself an Aspire Quad Flex Power Pack for a whopping two dollars. I Joy Maxo. Oh yeah. I've been waiting for this one. This is an oldie but goodie. Now you're wondering why the heck would you want a mod that it takes five batteries? Well, this mod isn't just a mod, it's actually a battery pack. So when we're out camping, I can take this along with us. If my mod goes bad, I've got a mod I can use. And I can also charge my cell phone. Gotta love multitasking devices. Not sure about this one, the Conceal 22. But it was only a couple bucks, so I figured I'd pick it up and try it. And look at that. Kanger Tech CL Tank. Top fill, child lock, leak proof. Hey, it was only a couple bucks. Picked one up in a different color. So, here's our vape mail for today. Now I'm going to go try out that uh, new Smock Scar 18, and I'll let you know how it goes. <sighs> Nothing like a fresh coffee. Well, time to take our first vape on the Smoke Scar 18. That is pretty good. Lots and lots of airflow. Turn that thing down a little bit. Take it halfway. Now it's getting a little whistly. Definitely have some turbulence going on there. So we got that thing at 55 watts. Let's crank it up a little. Try it at 65. Go to 70. Seventy-five. Eighty. Now we're starting to get some warmth to the vape. Go to eighty-five. Now that's a pretty good vape there. All right, I'm gonna go try this out for a while and I'll be right back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> had my lunch, I had a chance to actually try this thing out for a little bit. Here's my regular mod.
the Aspire Odin, running 55 watts. Here's a TFV9, also 55 watts, on the new Smock Scar 18. And just as a comparison, I got the old Aegeus. That's running the Aero Tank. It's also running at 55 watts. Let's look at that one. So, how do they compare? Well, flavor wise, at 55 watts, I like my Aspire Odin. Got the 0 0.2, oh, 0.2 ohm coil. And at 55 watts, this produces a vape that is slightly warm, flavorful, and a reasonable quantity. So you don't run out of juice and have to fill your tank three, four times a day. Very enjoyable vape. Now for the smock. Definitely has a lot more airflow. And if I were to turn the airflow down, it'd be pretty comparable to the Aspire. But if you want something that's got a little bit more vapor production, then smock is the way to go. You can turn this sucker up. It goes all the way to 90. At least that's what the coil's rated for. Temperature wise, at 85 watts, it's identical to the Aspire Odin. However, vapor production wise, there's a lot more vapor being produced by the new Smock Scar 18 than is by the Aspire Odin. And obviously, as you can see, looking at the Geek Vape, Aegis with the Aero Tank at 55 watts. Not much vapor production going on. So, let me unlock this thing. Crank this one up. Make sure they're the same as the other one. And we'll give it a try. Now this one has a little tighter draw than the TFV9. So, which one do I think is gonna be the better device? Well, quite honestly, I can make all three of them work for me. If you're in the market for a new device, check out the Smock Scar 18. I know it's not the stab what I was waiting for. However, its performance has convinced me this is a good purchase. It was worth the 70 bucks I spent to buy it. So, is it going to work for you? Depends on what kind of a vapor you are. Your moth to lung vapor? No. However, the mod itself, you can pair it up with the Aroma Miser at 30 millimeters, have zero overhang, and proportionally, it works pretty good. Let me pop it on there and you can take a look at it. That doesn't look too bad. So if you got a 30 millimeter, this mod will work pretty good for you. All right, that's the today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want more advocacy. Let me know if you'd rather see me compare products for you. Or maybe you'd like to see a little bit more Red Dead Redemption. 
All right, guys. Hope you have a good one. And just as the paper shows, peace, love, and a hunky vape. It's all you need. Have a great day.